नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एन सी आर टीज स्पेशल लाइव फोन इन इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम माई नेम इज तनवी खुराना एंड हियर वी आर ऑन द डे थ्री ऑफ आर ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग ऑन एल एम एस दैट इज लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम टू एनहांस द टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस वेल डे वन वी डिस्कस द लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम पॉलिसी परस्पेक्टिव कॉन्सेप्ट स्कोप एंड नीड and on day 2 that was yesterday we discussed the introduction to moodle interface account creation and course design where we discussed uh, how one can create a site on moodle cloud and how one can create an account on moodle today we are going to discuss uh, resources for course enrichment in moodle today is the day 3 let me please remind you that this is a 5 day online training going on from 23rd of january to 27th of january on 27th of january uh, which would be the fifth day and the final day a quiz link will be given to you and you will get uh, a lot of time to take part in that quiz and answer all those questions uh, which are there in the quiz so a quiz link will be given to you on 27th of january at 6 pm but for answering that uh, the questions in the quiz you have to watch all these sessions which are going on so today is the day 3 like i said and this entire training is actually uh, to leverage the understanding of uh, lms that is learning management system to all students to teachers teacher educators administrators and various stakeholders uh, to enrich uh, the experience to enrich the classroom experiences so it's going to be a wonderful online training and um, we are going to learn a lot about moodle in this particular class and i'll let you know all the details about how you can participate how you can register yourself and uh, regarding the certification as well i'll show you the site towards the end of this program so please watch this entire program and the registration link is also being displayed on your screens at this moment if you have any questions from our today's expert you can reach out to us you can simply call us on our number which is 8800440559 you're watching us on evidya channel number 6 to channel number 12 and also on our youtube channel which is ncert official in the live chat box you can write down your questions your queries and share them with us it's a very simple method and till 5 o'clock our expert is going to be here sharing each and every detail regarding our today's topic So let me please introduce to you our today's expert. He is Dr. A. R. Ramesh. A very warm welcome to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sir is an assistant professor from Government Victoria College, Pallakkar, Kerala, and um, he'll be answering all your questions. So please raise your questions. We are waiting for your. Uh, queries for your questions till 5 o'clock before we begin this entire program we have two very important announcements to make and uh, one is regarding g20 presidency as you all know that we are very proud that uh, india assumed g20 presidency and will convene the g20 leader summit for the first time in our country in 2023 which is this year a nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism g20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role in uh, finding the pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all and of course in doing so manifest the true spirit of uh, vasudev kutumbakam or should i say the world is one family and with that we have one more information for all of you and that is related to pariksha pe charcha well in yet another exciting edition of pariksha pe charcha uh, honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji he will be interacting with the students with the teachers and with the parents on 27th of january 2023 and uh, it's just a few days away so please watch that program it will be live telecasted on uh, all the major channels of uh, doordarshan on all india radio and also on even their channel number 1 to channel number 12 so please watch it where uh, the honorable prime minister he'll be discussing not just uh, the ways how to manage stress but he'll also let you know the ways in which you can make uh, the examination more joyfully you can lift them up and uh, enjoy it as an utsav so please watch it do not miss it at all 
Let us begin this uh, particular program and we are in day 3. Let me remind you our topic for today is resources for course enrichment in Moodle. Let me please request uh, our expert for today. Sir, would you like to share uh, the details regarding this topic and uh, what are those resources that we are going to talk about which are there for the course enrichment in Moodle? Sir, over to you please. Thank you ma'am. Yeah. Welcome all. Uh, in the last uh, session, uh, you have created a Moodle website, right? And also you created a course page. In today's session, we are going to add resources into this course page. So we need to have some resources in, uh, in, in your computer. Then we have to add it in the course page. That is the aim of today's session, right? So, uh, let me show you my course page. I think all of you created a course page by your own. And once you log in into that particular site, the site that you created in Moodle Cloud, once you log in, it, you will be seeing a page like this. Here, you will be in the Home tab. And under available courses, you can see the course that you created, the course name with the teacher name. Once you click on this course name, it will the course will open. The course will open, and you can see the course page like this with a few topics like topic one, topic two, topic three, topic four, topic five, and there is a general uh, uh, block also. Here also at the uh, just uh, below your course name, you can also see some tabs like course, settings, participants, grades, reports, etc. Now, if you want to add your resources into the course page, you have to uh, use this edit mode. There is a slide button that is edit mode button. Once you click on this slide button or you, if you slide it, you can see that there are some changes occurs in the course page. For example, you can see some pencils on each titles and also something new uh, like uh, add an activity or resource or add topic is appearing in the course page. So in order to edit the course page, you have to make sure that this edit mode is on, this button is on. Now, how can we enrich our course page with resources. There are different forms of resources, different forms of resources. For example, we are giving some notes to our students, right, in forms of a letters or text or words or sentences. So we can say that it is electronically, if you convert that into electronically, that is a textual content. So a text is a form of a resource. Another one resource is an image. A picture is a, is a resource. So we can say that it is an image resource. Like that, we can add our resources into our, uh, our course page. Now, let us start with our textual resource. How to add a textual content in our course page? So the first thing is to make sure that this edit mode is on and this pencil buttons are there. So let us start with the general block. This one, this particular space is called a block. And this topic one is another block. Topic two is another block. So first let us add some contents, some textual contents in the general block. Now, if you want to edit this general block, there are three dots at the right side. So you click on this, this three dots and you will be getting an edit section drop down menu. You click on that edit section. Now you are getting a new web page and you can see that title general. If you want to rename this general, you can click on this then you can type the new title. Otherwise, you don't have to uh, check uh, this item. Now, 
there is a, another box called summary box. The textual content that you are planning to insert, you can put it here. For example, you are creating an, an online course, right? So you can give some uh, general data in this part, in the general uh, module. For example, uh, about this course, you can say something about the course that you are planning to uh, insert here. And some, uh, and the, uh, uh, what are, who are the Indian, Indian courses? Uh, what are the prerequisites for attending this course? That type of things that you can uh, type it here or you can copy paste from a, any, any type of electronic resource. You can just simply type also. You can type like this. Now, once you, once your typing is over, you have to save this particular content by uh, scrolling down and at the bottom of the page, you can see a button, save changes. You click on that save changes. Now you can, you are redirecting, you are going back to the main course page where you can see the title again, the first block that is general with the textual content about the course intended audience prerequisites. Since I copied from a word file, Microsoft Word file, these, these letters like about the course or these words become in bold. Suppose I don't want to be in bold. I want to remove that boldness of these words. How can I do that? If I want to edit this textual content, again you have to go back to these three dots and go to edit section. You are getting the same uh, box, right? summary box. Now you have to select this particular words and you have to the uh, uh, you have to uncheck this board or you have to remove this boldness by clicking on this this tool board. This is a similar tool that you are seeing in the uh, PowerPoint or a, a, a Word or any any type of uh, electronic uh, file box. Now you can again save it. You can see the change the, about the course become without the board. Now suppose if I want to uh, 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 give some italics forms for some uh, some uh, sentences. Again, you can go back to you this, this editing page by clicking on the three dots and edit section. And you can, the, the important thing is that first you have to select the word, the particular word or the sentence. Then you can see the italics. Like that, there are several tools. There are several tools. In order to get on these tools, you have to click on the first tool name as show all tools for buttons. If you click on that tools, you will get another two more rows of different tools. So if you want to make it as an italic, you can do it with that. If you want to make it as a superscript or a subscript, you can do that. Those, uh, those tools are available here at the heading. Okay, so you can make anything you can Format your uh, uh, your sentences uh, by using these tools. Now, after that, the important thing is that you have to save it. For that, you have to click Save Changes. Now, your textual content is ready. Suppose you, if you want to add some uh, images into part into this this box or in another module how to do that suppose if you want to add an image image means a picture right electronically it is an image file the image file normally it, it can be png file or jpg file if uh, file etc etc so if you want to add an image the same process you have to repeat you have to click on the these three dots and Go to edit section. Once the new page appears, first you have to put your cursor somewhere. The place that where you want to put your image. If the cursor is appearing here, you can go to the toolbar. 
there is a toolbar just above this this text box you can see several tools if you want to show all these image these tools you have to click on the first tool now you can see a, a tool named as edit or insert image this is the tool then you click on that tool now you are getting a new window where you can see a button browse repositories click on that browser repositories again a new dialog box is opening where you can see a choose file option click on that choose file now you can browse the file that you saved in your computer so i already saved uh, one image for this purpose so i am opening that particular file and uh, this is the file atomic structure i am selecting it and opening it now you can see the name here atomic structure right so so that file is ready now you have to click on this upload this file button Up upload this file button which is at the bottom of this window then another window is opening here you can see the image that you already uploaded and there is a, there is a check box this image is decorative only either you have to give some description for this image or you have to check this box that is this image is decorative only then there is another save image button in this window you can click on that save image now that image is coming in that edit page see you are in, again in edit page if you want to save the entire content again you have to save it so if you want to save this particular image in this in this uh, module you can you have to click on save changes now you can see that you are in again in the main course page and the, the earlier textual content is there and also the image is also there now suppose if the image size that you upload is not good suppose if it is too big or if it is too small how to change the size of this picture for that again you have to go to this three dots and go to edit section then you can see the image again right the image and the text now you have to click on that image to select this particular image then again you click on the same tool the insert or edit image tool where you can see the particular uh, details or the url of that particular image below that there is a size box now it is 231 multiplied by 218 suppose if you want to decrease the size you just decrease the value of this particular uh, width or height suppose if i am, uh, if i want to reduce the size by its half so so uh, i am giving it as uh, 125 and uh, saving it now you can see that the picture size is reducing and again i i am saving it now you see the image size is decreasing about this is the way we are giving our images in the course page so so far we learned how to add a text content and also how to add a image in the course page so two resources are ready now we are giving lectures lectures in the form of audio sometimes in the form of video suppose if you want to give some instruction a small instruction audio instruction you can use the tool that is already there in the moodle for example i want you to give some instruction to our students a two minute instruction or something as the uh, as a voice instruction how to add that suppose i am adding it in the topic one either you can add it in general instruction general module or in topic one or top it is your choice okay i am Uh, adding it in topic one. In order to add a voice instruction or voice content in course page, 
you have to click on these three dots of topic one. Here you are typically solving it, right? The first item is edit topic. So you click on the edit topic. You are getting the same page again, same page, almost a similar page. Uh, the only difference is that here the title is topic one, not the general. So if you want to change the topic one into module one, you just click on this this checkbox, custom checkbox, and here you can type the name as module one. Now, here I want to give some more instruction for that. How to do that? You just click on the two bars. Then in the first row you, you can see a mic button. A record audio button. This is the one, right? So you click on that, then you are getting a dialog box with the start recording button. You click on that start recording. Now recording started. Now what I whatever I am saying, what I am whatever I am speaking, that is recording. You can see that the time, the uh, countdown time. So once the recording is over, voice recording is over, you can stop it by clicking on the stop recording. Button. If you are satisfied with the recording, you can attach it by clicking on the attach recording go button. Now it is uploading and uh, that particular voice is, is attached in, the, in this particular summary box. Now you have to save this edit page by clicking on save changes button at the bottom of this page. Once you click on this save changes, that that a particular uh, a module will be saved and here you can see that particular audio you can verify the the uh, uh, audio of uh, the clarity of audio by playing it so this is the way we are recording our audio now in most of our uh, uh, cases we need some videos instead of audio so we can record our uh, videos by using any any type of uh, softwares, you can record it and you can uh, upload it in YouTube, right? So most probably your uh, videos are available in YouTube itself. So how can we put that particular YouTube video in our course videos? This is our next step, right? So far we learned how to add a text, then image, then audio. Now how to add a video file or video from a, from any any of the website into this course page for that i'm i'm using the uh, topic 2 suppose i am adding the content for module 2 so i am taking topic 2 for that again using the same method i am following the same strategy same uh, path right again i am clicking on these three dots and click on edit topic. Suppose if this is module 2, I have to rename this topic to as module 2. For that, I am clicking on the checkbox custom. Then I am typing module 2. Now the title is changing to module 2. Now in the summary box, I have to put a video from YouTube. For that, I have to find out a video from YouTube. Suppose if I am taking the same NCRT official YouTube channel, you can see several videos. So I'm taking any any of any of the uh, uh, link from YouTube. Suppose if this is the video, so I am playing that uh, video. Once uh, we, once this this video is playing, you can right click on that video, and there is a copy video URL option on any any of uh, you, your youtube video you just click on this copy video url then you go back to your moodle page moodle course page again next to this insert or edit image there is another tool called insert or edit a video file. insert or edit an audio or video file click on that particular icon then you are getting a new window with the three tabs link video and audio now we have to add video so we are choosing the tab video just below that there is a there is a space 
to add the link of our particular video. So you paste your uh, video link there. We have recently copied one video link from YouTube. Then you have to insert this particular video in our course page. For that, you click on this insert media button at the bottom of this window. Now you can see that the particular video is inserted, but again you have to save this, this module. For that, you have to click on save changes of this particular page. Once you click on this, this uh, save changes, you are again redirecting to the to the same course page, right? Now, you can verify the, uh, the, the video by clicking on the play button. Now you can see that the particular video is, is, in, is in YouTube, but still you can see that particular video from our course page. So even though the video is playing in YouTube, you can watch it from the course page. See, uh, you can directly give a link but the problem is that the students will be going to YouTube and they will be seeing some other unnecessary videos from YouTube. But if you are giving your videos like this, they will be seeing only this particular video and they will remain in your course page. Otherwise, they will go inside the YouTube with uh, their uh, 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 videos. Right? So this is a way you can add your videos from YouTube. If you have a video from Google Drive, you can use the same method uh, for adding the uh, videos in your course page. Okay. So, uh, we learned four resources, text, image, audio, and video. Now, how to add a file in your course page? You are giving some notes, some printed notes. Right? So you can convert it into an uh, PDF file, right? So you can save, uh, scan it, and save it. So that is a fine. Also, you are giving some uh, uh, some typed notes, right? either in Microsoft Word or uh, any other uh, text editing uh, apps or softwares. So that is also another. Problem. Uh, some uh, science teachers or uh, mathematics teachers are giving uh, some Excel files or computer science teachers are giving some Excel files. So that is also a file. Uh, someone may be giving some uh, giving some PowerPoint presentation. Uh, so after uh, the class, uh, students will be asking, uh, ma'am or teacher, can you give the PowerPoint presentation? So that is also that PowerPoint presentation is also a file. So anything that you stored in your computer is a file. Even a programmable file, execution uh, file is also a file. Right. So how to give that file source to your students? How to add the files in the course page? This is the fifth resource. So how to add that particular file? Now the method is slightly different. So far, in these four, resources. We are using the same strategy, same method, same path. But in order to add files in your course page, the method is different. Now, what is the difference? Instead of clicking on these three dots and click on, on edit topic, you have to go to this add an activity also. Suppose if you are adding your files in module one, module one, can see an add an activity or resource in this particular module one block. In each block, you can see this add an activity or resource. So first you decide where you want to add your files. So you click on this add an activity or resource of module one or module two. For the time being, I am clicking on the uh, add an activity or resource for module one. So I am clicking on it. Then you are getting a, a new window with so many icons. You can see so many icons. What are these? These are the different resources and activities available in Moodle. Normally, we call it as in Moodle, we call it as a plugins. Right? So the, these are the pre-installed plugins. When you purchase an Android phone, you are getting 
has so many apps, no applications. Like that, these these buttons are applications of Mojo. Uh, the technical term is plugins. Okay, these are the pre-installed plugins. Okay, so here we have to add a file, file resource, right? File resource. So if you scroll down, uh, you can see the item file. This is arranged alphabetically from left to right. So here for file, so this this is a file. You click on that file. That you click on that file icon. Now you are you are redirecting to a page. Here you have to add two items. One is name of the file. Suppose you are giving a, a, a note or textbook of of module one. You can give a name as, suppose, not or textbook. Suppose if I am giving a textbook, I am giving the name as textbook module one of module one, right? That's why the name textbook hyphen module one or module two, whatever. So this is the first item, name. Suppose if you have any some uh, any instruction or any description that you can type it in description box, but it is not mandatory. It is not mandatory because the name itself is a sex self explanatory. Now, this is the second item that is the select files. Here you have to add the file. How to add the file? You can see a tool here. The, the a page like an icon I add you click on that then you are getting a new new window where you can see the item choose file you click on that choose file and select, select the particular file it can be a PDF file it can be a Microsoft Word it can be a PowerPoint can be an Excel file or an execution file you just just select it and open it then you have to click on this upload now your file is uploaded. You can see that particular file, right? Now you can scroll down. You don't have to worry about these contents like appearance, common module settings, restrict access. All these are not mandatory. So you can skip all these items and scroll down to the bottom and you can click on save and return to course. In order to save this file, you have to click on save and return to course. Now you can see that under module one, you can see that particular file name textbook module. So if a student is coming or you are coming yourself and seeing this textbook module one, once you click on this, this particular item, you can see that that particular file is up. So they can read that particular note or textbook from, from your, your course page. So that file is now, if you want to, this this file is opening in a new, new uh, in this in the same window, right? Suppose uh, you want to give it as a pop up. It, it should come in a new window like that. You can change it. How to change the opening of this particular file? In order to change any settings of this particular file, you can see three dots next to this particular file. You click on this three dots and click edit settings. You are redirecting to the editing page of that particular file. You can see the name, you can see the file and just below this particular file you can see the tab appearance. Once you click on this appearance, the display by default Display is automatic. You click on this automatic, you are getting a drop down menu, and you can select the in pop up option. In pop up option. You select that in pop up. And again, you have to save it, save and return to course. Now, the same, the appearance is same, no? In the main course page, the appearance is same. But once you click on this particular file, now you can see that the file is opening in a new window. It is coming as a pop-up. Like this, uh, we can give several modes, like uh, you can change the modes, the appearance, the display option as 
uh, in pop up, open, or post download, or even embed. Embed means that file is is opening in this particular page itself. Now it is in embed mode, and so if you click on this this particular file name, you can see that that file is opening within this Moodle course page. The Moodle course page is there, but inside that particular file is not. Right? So you can uh, use any of this method, uh, either as pop up or embed. Now, the last item, the or the sixth resource is UR. See, once you uh, completed your class, you you will be asking your students uh, to go to your library and read some book, right? Or you will be saying that you have to uh, go to this particular website and watch particular that video or you have to read that particular video, right? Like that, you can, you have to point out some places in the internet. That is the referencing, right? So that is, that there is a, there is a particular address for that particular site. That is called a URL. So you find out some some materials for your students. So, for example, if I am taking some uh, uh, some syllabus of NCRT like that, so I am taking one web page. This is the syllabus page of uh, your NCRT. So this is the page that I want to give it to my students. This page is already there in the internet. So you have to take its address only. How to take the address? You can click on the address bar so the entire address will be uh, selected and copied now the address is copied now how to add this particular address in our course page for that the method is same for uh, exactly similar for the file so you click on this add an activity or resource of any module then you are getting several tools or plugins here you have to find out the item url click on that url here also you have to add two items one is name here i am giving the name as syllabus because i am giving the syllabus uh, link for my students and the second item is external url here you can see you can give the website address in this box now you can scroll down and click on save and return to course. Now, under module 2, you can see a new item that is syllabus. Once you click on this syllabus, what is happening? It is, uh, it is, it is redirecting to a new page, but you cannot see anything. But you can see only a link. Click this link to open resource. So, you have to again click on this particular link and you will be redirecting to particular web page. But this may not be convenient because the, the students wants to click on uh, two times. That is not necessary. So we have to change its settings. How to change the setting? You have to go back to your main course page. Under module 2, you can see the syllabus URL. If you want to edit it, you have to click on these three dots and click on edit settings. Here you have a name box, external URL box, it is there. Uh, as like in uh, the file, you can also see the appearance tab. You just click on this appearance tab, then it will collapse and it will expand and you can see the display option by default it is automatic instead of automatic either you can use the embed option or in pop-up option if you select the in pop-up option the pop-up window size is the by default it is 620 to 450 if you want you can change it or you can save it so in order to save you have to scroll down and uh, Click on this save and return to course. Now you can see the same syllabus here. The appearance is same, but once you click on this syllabus, 
that particular web page is opening in a single click as a new link. Also, you can make it as an embedding. In order to make it as an embedding opening, you have to click on this edit settings and go to this appearance, change from in pop-up to embed. Once it is embed, you can save and you have to try it, whether it is working or not. So I am clicking on this syllabus and uh, you can see that you can see that a message the embedding window is there but nothing is coming and it says ncrt.nic.in refuse to come why it is coming see whenever you create a website you are you are deciding the embedding permission this particular website is not permitting embedding so be, be you have to be very careful once you give the embedding option for QR. Some site, sites may not allow you to embed their particular website because that particular website is coming inside your web page, in your post page. So, uh, for this particular item, you cannot give the embedding option. So, you have to change it to either in pop-up or open option. So, I am giving the in pop-up option for this particular item and I am saving it. So, now again it is in, in, in pop-up mode and by a single click the particular web page is opening in a new way. So, so far we added six types of resources or, resources, or six forms of resources. Which are those six forms? Text, image, audio, video, file, and UR. I hope all of you learned how to add these type of uh, resources in your course page. This is just a demonstration. You have to practice it and you have to add more number of these type of resources in your course page to enrich your course is there any questions from audience side um, sir, uh, so far uh, we don't have uh, any questions from the audience's side, uh, but uh, our viewers are saying that uh, they would like to know the registration link, how they can participate. Uh, so, I would like to tell them uh, that uh, I am going to show you uh, the link and uh, the QR code through which you can scan and uh, get uh, um, your certificates after the quiz and also you can participate. Uh, so, in this particular session and uh, in all the sessions uh, which are also going to happen in next two days. Uh, so, would you like to uh, wrap your session? We still have uh, last, last 12 minutes left. Okay, okay, sure. Okay. So, I will uh, give some more uh, details about yeah. uh, uh, so, so, I can take five more minutes, right? Yes, sir, easily. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, let me give you some more advanced features uh, uh, in resources. There are so many science teachers, right? So, for science teachers, we need to add some symbols. Especially for mathematics teachers, they have to add some operators, some equations, etc. Et How to add that type of symbols equations, operators in our course page. That is coming under text resource, but these symbols are not alphabets or numbers, right? So, how to add that particular alphabets or uh, particular symbols or operators in our course page? For that, I am taking the same, same uh, module, either general or module 1 or module 2 or module 3. So, let us take a fresh topic that is topic 3. Uh, let it be module 3. You can click on this edit topic 
then you are getting the same editing page you can click on custom and change the name of the title as module 3 now in the summary box you can type anything right uh, you can say something like find the or you can say that the equation the the quadratic equation is something like that quadratic equation something like that then you have to add an equation here how to add an equation here, here. with your keyboard um, with your computer keyboard it is not easy or it is not possible you need an interface fortunately with the new versions of Moodle we have we have pre-installed plugins for that in order to get that tool you have to click on the toolbar the first tool item then you can see a calculator like symbol right equation editor something right you click on this 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 calculator symbol then a new window is open here you can see so many tabs for example operators these are the common operators we are using or the mathematicians are using if you want to add some arrows if you want to some add add some arrows that you can do if you want to get some greek symbols that tab is also there with the uh, uh, symbols alpha beta gamma delta etc or even for quantum mechanics uh, psi symbols etc phi symbols right and in the advanced tab you can see symbol equations like square root of c plus c right suppose if you want to find out the square root of 3 plus 5 you can change the name of a into 2 and uh, with the b b with the uh, 5 and c with the 3 the resultant value or the resultant equation that you can see at the bottom of this page this is the way it will show in the course page even though uh, it is showing something else here in the box finally it will come like this square root of 5 plus 3 what is then what is this this is the latex form you know if you know the tech equation editing then it is very easy for them you can directly type the latex so you can uh, type anything, any type of equations here. In order to save this particular equation, you can, can click on this save equation button of this particular window. And here also it is coming in the form of data, but once you save this particular page, that will be saved and will be showing in the correct form in the course page. Now it is exactly square root of 5 plus 3. So any mathematics teachers or physics or chemistry teachers, they can insert uh, any type of equations like this. But for chemistry teachers, they need some chemical equations. Now how to add that particular chemical equation? How to add that particular symbol? in this page. Let me show you how to add it. Uh, in order to add that particular type of chemical equations and chemical symbols, you have to again go to this three dots and click on edit topic and you are getting the same page, right? Uh, this title is there, module 3 and the summary box is here. Now, Again, you have to go to this toolbar. You click on the first tool, tool item, then you are getting three rows of uh, toolbar. Then you can see a conical like item, right? Conical like tool, conical class. This is a chemical tool. You click on this chemical tool. Then you are getting a new window. Here also, you can see so many tabs. For example, formulae, some type of uh, ionic species, suppose uh, if it is calcium 2 plus, you can add instead of Cx, you can give Ca. 
you want to change the stars, you just change the numbers. Like that I can add and uh, if you want to add some symbols like delta H or enthalpy or entropy change, you can use that uh, symbols here. And for making bonds and arrows, that is also there. Several types of bonds, single bond, double bond, triple bond, etc. That is also there. And some Greek symbols is also here. Some italics forms so is also there of our alphabet is also there. Then the periodic table, the entire periodic table without uh, this uh, 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 IF block, you can see it here. So you can take any elements from this, this periodic table. And even the uh, F block is also available in the next tab, that is lanthanum to lutetium and the actinium uh, to laurentium is also uh, available here and you can insert. So you can draw your chemical structures, chemical equations here in this box using this tool. Then you have to again this save chemistry uh, then that will appearing in the editing box, editing module, then you have to save it. Okay, so I think this information will be uh, very useful to all the uh, science teachers because uh, they definitely need uh, these uh, scientific uh, uh, equations and uh, the mathematical equations, the notations, the symbols, they are very, very useful for all those teachers. Uh, and this is a very wonderful tool you just explained to all our viewers. So, uh, I would like to thank you here and uh, we have last two minutes left. So, uh, would you like to give any message to our viewers before leaving? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the thing is that uh, there are only two items in our course page. Okay. One is the resource part. Another one is activities part. Hmm. The resource is something that you are providing to our students. Yeah. That part is beautiful hmm. with the full of materials. Our students will be automatically coming to our course page. So you have to invest your time in beautifying the course page by enriching with the resources. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, we have only six types of or forms of resources. They are text, image, audio, video, URL, and file. This is what you are using in your offline course page. So you are just converting this offline materials into an online material and you are providing it to your students. Okay. So uh, that will be very easy, easy to use uh, for your students. Absolutely. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for letting us know about all the tools, about uh, uh, all the resources that are available uh, for course enrichment in Moodle. And there's a lot to understand regarding Moodle. And uh, this is only the, the day three for all our viewers, sir. Thank you so much. We have got so many compliments uh, for this entire presentation. Uh, our viewers are saying nice presentation, very impressive, very enriching, very informative. So all credit goes to you. Thank you so much uh, for giving us your time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you to all our viewers uh, for being a part of this program. And l let me please explain how you can participate at uh, how you can register yourself in this particular session and in this entire online training, actually. All you have to do is go to Google and uh, type CIET on it. Uh, let me just show you how you can do it. Uh, so um, when you open the page Google and uh, there type CIET, this page you will get. I'll just show it to you here. Just have a look. CIET is the page uh, that you will get. This is the home page. If you will check out the options in the events section, uh, if you will go further, the third last option is uh, workshop slash training. If you click on it, another page would be opened here. If you scroll it down, this is the first uh, training mentioned, LMS to enhance teaching learning process, just click on it. This is everything regarding this five-day training. It's overview, the schedule, the topics of each day is mentioned, the objectives, who all can participate. This is the schedule with all the details of the resource persons also mentioned. And uh, this is how you can participate. Just click on this link and fill this form or scan this QR code. 
and uh, here the link will be given to you on 27th of January at uh, 6 p.m. So you have enough time to be a participant in the quiz and for any feedback this is the particular form please uh, write your feedbacks and submit it to us if anything is required you can raise your questions. So uh, a lot is still left regarding Moodle. Tomorrow we'll come back again on day four and we'll be discussing the activities for course enrichment in Moodle. And uh, for now we are wrapping up this particular program, but up next is our special program, which is Sayog, Guidance for Mental Well-Being of the Children. And the topic for discussion would be the positive aspects of examination. And uh, before leaving, let me please remind you in yet another exciting edition of Pariksha with Charcha, our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji will be interacting with students, parents and teachers on 27th of January 2023. This program will be live telecasted on uh, all the major channels of Doordarshan, All India Radio and on Evidya channel number 1 to channel number 12. So please watch it and uh, Honorable Prime Minister, he will be discussing how to manage your stress during exams and he will also share the mantras through which uh, you can enjoy these examinations uh, rather than uh, taking stress on it. And uh, we have one more announcement for all of you that is related to G20 presidency. Well, we are very proud that India has assumed the G20 presidency and will convene the G20 leaders summit for the first time in the country this year. And uh, a nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role in um, finding the pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest a true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbakam or should I say the world is one family. With that, I'm Tanvi Kurana. I'll take a leave of you. Please stay here. Keep on watching Evidya channels. Thank you once again. Take care. Namaskar.